We've become a distracted society, haven't we? Social media has given a new definition to living in the moment as we update what we're doing, how we're feeling, to our virtual world of friends. Our next guest says that from computers to cell phones, all the talking, texting, checking emails, posting and tweeting can sabotage the status of our romantic relationships. Dr. Patty Ann is a world-renowned relationship expert and licensed psychotherapist and she joins us now welcome good afternoon nice to be here you said that technology is sabotaging romance and happiness in relationships I can understand that I can see that mm -hmm. I can see how that can happen but a lot of people don't see it well I think for the generation of people and there's at least two now that have grown up with nothing but technology they might not be aware of what's going on. We can connect now in a 24-7 world, and we have instant access, and people expect instant response. Therein lies the problem. You're out to dinner with your husband or your boyfriend, and your cell phone goes off, your smartphone goes off, you get a text, and you stop your conversation, and you respond, or you respond while you're still having a conversation. It's so irritating, though, for the other person as the other person is responding to whatever. Well, it gives the message that there's something else going on that's just as important or maybe more important than our relationship. And that really damages the intimacy that you're creating in a relationship. So if somebody is doing that, it, it tells that other person that they, they just don't uh, seem to matter as much? Well, if I sat here now and I started to do a text while we're talking, wouldn't you stop and think, hey, I thought we were having a conversation. I thought we were trying to connect. So does that person uh, have to uh, tell that person to just stop doing that and well, just switch it off? I think can you say that? Yes. I think you have to say to somebody, can you please unplug and just be present with me right now? And, you know, for people at home, what I, what I suggest is have like a technology-free time frame, even a technology-free room. So that if you go to a certain room in your house, the cell phones, you have to check them at the door, so to speak. And it really allows people to connect in the old-fashioned, one-on-one communication where it's just the two of you. You also say that a lot of times people are over-scheduling. They can't seem to fit the relationship in because of all this technology. Well, we are so busy today, and we have so many things to do. We're, we're running our careers. We have our family we're taking care of. We're taking care of our home. We are so overscheduled, but like anything else that's important to us, we prioritize it and we schedule it. Take out your schedule, either online or in paper, and schedule a date with your partner. And do not allow anything else to take priority over it. Just like you would schedule a high priority business meeting or schedule anything else that you love to do, exercise, a sporting event, anything schedule it it's not any less romantic just because it's on the calendar but what else can you do to repair the sabotage the other thing we have to do is we really have to stop multitasking while we're with our partner because what happens is that we're doing 16 other things while we're trying to have a conversation and you know we can maybe work that way but relationships don't work that way we really need to connect on a very fundamental one-on-one -on -one level and you can't do that while you're doing 16 other things. So do you need to set the rules before you go out? Tell them you gotta leave that in the car or whatever, put it away? Well you know the word rules sounds so like, distasteful <laughs> but yes I think it's a really good idea to have expectations. So when we go out to dinner leave the cell phones in the car and let's go inside and let's not allow the technology to distract us from each other because even if we're together and we have we don't have the technology with us the other thing we have to do is we really have to slow ourselves down and be present in our mind as well as our body shut off all the other things that we think we should be doing during that time or we have to do when the date is over and just truly give your partner and yourself the gift of your presence well, how do you change that mindset? Because a lot of people think they are in the present and can do the other thing at the same time. You can at work, but you can if you're in an intimate relationship. So what you have to do is first slow down, take a couple of deep breaths, okay? And really allow yourself to be present in the moment. The other thing that's really great to do is that take advantage of the opportunities that are important in your relationship birthdays, anniversaries, you know, if your partner gets uh, 
a bonus, bonus or a promotion and celebrate them. Absolutely celebrate them. So remember what's important because really at the end of the day, relationships are really what it's all about. Now you're offering a special uh, program for our Connecticut style viewers. What do you have for sure. us? Sure. If you go to my website, which is www.drpatian.com, back with slash Connecticut style, CT style, I have a free special report called How to Increase Romance and Happiness in Your Relationship in Three Proven <laughs> Steps. And I also, ha I, um, I write a weekly easy that's all relationship advice with all my secret tips, tools, and techniques for rekindling romance and happiness in your relationship. Great. Thank you so much. Dr. Patty Ann is going to stick a, uh, around sure. for a bit longer. Okay, so don't go away. There's more Connecticut style right after this.